YouTube, this is Renault Dan. The down, I'm about to jump on the freeway as fast as I can here in a second. And I'm gonna go out and tell you guys I'm making a motorcycle downshift video. And the first step of this video is learning your gears. You have to know your engine speed, which is RPMs, and your transmission speed, which is how fast every gear can go into before you can properly downshift. about second gear is about 50 miles per hour third gear is kind of high up so we know at 50 miles per hour in third gear that I'm almost close to red line so we'll go about 60 in third gear and that's about it every motorcycle is different so I can't tell you how to do it on your bike you're gonna have to go out on the freeway or, on a, or we have a long run like a highway or something where there's no one around and figure this out because without knowing this you won't be able to figure out where your gears are, like how fast you can go. And it doesn't matter about six gear because six gear is the highest gear. We're only talking about the first like three or four gears because even gear five, that's not really that big of a deal. But the first three, four gears is what we're talking about because that's what gets people in trouble. Downshifting from fifth to six, it's not really that much big of a deal unless you're going like 180 to like 120. But again, at that point, you don't need my help. You need a, you need a track day. So right here, we're in fourth gear. I'm doing about 34 miles per hour and I want to downshift, I'm a little bit too low. So we know we're gonna go into third gear, which will be just fine for this turn. Third gear gives me enough room to have RPM to get out of it, right? I'm gonna roll off, roll back on. And the whole purpose of downshifting is, is to give yourself room and cornering to give yourself back on the throttle. So here we go, there's a uh, continual radius. 25 mile per hour to corner. I'm in third gear, which is fine. Sorry for not downshifting. Actually, I'll downshift a second. And see, second's kind of like close to the R red line. This is a really long turn. So if I was on it, like going like I normally would, it'd be too fast. Cause right here, I'm already red lining out already. Same thing. Okay, so I'm doing about 40. So I'm not gonna go in this second gear. Actually, I'll stay in third gear for this turn. All right, I'm gonna make this circle one last time. So here's a good example. So I'm gonna go from here to the second gear. So I'm gonna bring it down. Second gear is too high, right? So third gear was the gear. So now in third gear, I have enough room to get the bike throttle to get me out of this corner. And that's the whole purpose of downshifting. And you gotta know your gears. It does you no good to get, the, even if you downshift properly and you go in the wrong gear, it's not really helping you out, is it? Because then you're gonna have to shift again because you're running out of RPMs. And that's the first step is learning your gears. And then after that, then I can show you how to downshift smoothly, which I probably didn't do very good in this video, but I'm thinking and talking and writing at the same time and trying to demonstrate. And it looked a lot better in my head than it did in the video. But the concept's the same. I'm gonna go out. So here I am, there's a 25 mile power turn. I'm at third gear, third gear's plenty good enough for this. So I'm just gonna take it. I've been on this corner way faster than this, but this is just a demonstration purposes. And you just want to give yourself enough room to give yourself, when you power out, you have RPMs to go. Right here, would I downshift again this second? No, I would not. Because second gear, see, it's too high up. And I'm gonna be redlining really fast and I'm gonna have to shift again. See, shifting. I'm going to fourth gear. Now fourth gear, this is kind of chugging, really chugging. Would I want to go to second gear from fourth gear from here? No, I want to go to third gear because I know third gear is the gear to be at this speed. Right? So this is all about learning your gears and then you can figure out where you need to be into a downshift. And this applies to cars too. If you have a manual, this applies to anything that's manual, is knowing your gears. Because if you don't know your gears and what speed each gear can handle, 
it, it doesn't matter how good you are at the downshift. It doesn't matter how smooth you are. It doesn't matter if you can clutchless downshift, if you're going to put in the wrong gear and you're going to be too high of an RPM and it's going to cause you trouble. That's the first step. I'm sorry it's not like mind blowing and super complicated and the masters and the secrets of the universe, but this is really the core fundamental. So here I'm in fourth gear, which is high enough for this turn at 40 miles per hour. Well, going too slow. So I shifted in the middle of a turn, which worked out for me because I was, you know, I knew where I needed to be because I knew that third gear can, was about 30 miles per hour for this bike to give me enough room to get out of it. You're not supposed to shift the middle of a turn, but I did it pretty smoothly, so it worked out. But the whole purpose of shifting is so you don't have to shift in the middle of a turn. Man, I can do this NASCAR like crazy eights all day. All right, last time, and I'm gonna call it the day. So we know we're like at 38 miles per hour. And we know, I already demonstrated that this bike, that's a good RPM range for this bike. This bike will have plenty of power to get me out of it, to give me RPMs to go, and it's within enough power range to give me enough torque on the rear tire. And that's part of learning your gears, is knowing where, where you have enough giddy up power to get you out. Because you, you're too high, which I'll do it in a too high of a gear, and the bike's gonna chug, and it's not ideal. But I'm gonna go slow enough where it's not gonna cause me issue. But right now the bike's chugging. I'm in fifth gear, it's not happy. You know, you're too high of a gear. Fifth gear, fifth gear doesn't like 30 miles per hour. It'll do it, but it's not happy. All right, so we know we're going like 50 miles per hour right here. So I know fourth gear is good. This Toledo Matrix. All right, guys. I think that's going to conclude this video. And I'm again, I'm sorry if I didn't like show the secrets of the universe on the first downshift video, but it's really crucial. And a lot of people don't have this common knowledge. That's the that's the whole point here is that a lot of people don't know things because they drive automatics. We live in an automatic world now. We don't even have like, it's, it's so rare to find someone that knows how to drive a manual. And if you drove a manual, then this doesn't apply because you've already learned that on your manual car. You already know that every gear has a speed that it can attain to. And then after that, it redlines and it's maxed out. Everybody that's driven a manual car has experienced that at one point. So here I am, I'm coming up, I'm slowing down. So we know fifth gear is good about 40 miles per hour. So we're getting about 30 miles per hour. We're gonna go into fourth gear, because we know about fourth gear can handle 30 miles per hour pretty good. Third gear is good for here. Second, and we're gonna stop. And that's the complete range right there, guys. All right, my name's Rhino Dan. Sorry for the, again, if you feel like this video was too not complicated and I didn't explain, I try to do my best to explain this as easily as possible. You know, I did my best to make it easy. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll be making part two of this and part three of this in the future dates. But right now, learn your, your transmission humongous super important thanks for watching if you guys have any other suggestions for videos for me to make for new new writers or people that have issues with things that i can help out if i can't i will tell you that it's beyond me but some things i can for sure teach and help with some things you might need to have a professional like Keith Code or Jason Prigmore to help you out with um, I can do what I can for the basics to get you guys on the road you know am I super knowledgeable in all areas no I'm not disclaimer I'm not I'm just doing my best to show you guys things that I can help out with because I want the motorcycle community to grow and I want the motorcycle community to continue to thrive because I love motorcycles and, and there should be a motorcycle around in 30 years from now because I want the youth to be a part of motorcycles because that will continue on. 
anyway that's my goal my mission thanks for watching have a nice day